Hi Moglets! Just wanted to share some quick thoughts regarding the uh, version 2.2 update that's coming. Firstly, I want to say I'm glad they went back to this sort of OG presentation um, of these just little like chibi characters here. I think that's nice. So yeah, of course Toma is going to be dropping with uh, version 2.2 as well. I guess a little bit later since he's in the second banner. Uh, but he looks pretty interesting. He is uh, mainly a shield character. My, my sort of first impressions on him is that he might be really good for reactions. So yeah, his E will give him a barrier as well as doing some AoE damage. It'll also apply Pyro to himself, kind of like Binny's Burst. So it could be good for getting rid of annoying, you know, elements applied to yourself like Electro or Cryo. You can also stack his shields by just hitting E again as long as you still have the shield and the strength of it will stack. So personally, as a Zhongli haver, I don't care too much about his shield. I doubt it's going to be as strong as Zhongli's, but depending on how well and often he can apply Pyro with his Burst, he could be a pretty decent replacement for Zhongli when you do need those reactions. And yeah, his burst, at least how I understand it and what they're saying here, is it's kind of like a shield, but also the current active character can also inflict pyro, because Toma's little barrier shield thing that you get from his burst will be shooting out these flames as well. So yeah, at the surface, Toma is like a very shield-heavy character. You know, he gets a shield from his burst. Um, I believe even he can get some of those E shields. Uh, during burst once you get a certain talent so naturally we're also going to have a couple of new banners for version 2.2 and I really want to commend Genshin on this because we're gonna have child with three other four stars that isn't Toma and then the second banner will be Hu Tao and Toma together they could have easily just thrown Toma in child's banner and probably made a lot more money because from everything I've been seeing from the community Way more people want to Tao than Child. And of course, generally, you know, when a new four star comes around, there is increased hype around them. Uh, people want them more. So so having Hu Tao and Toma together was really cool of them to do. Um, but that's all I really have to say about that. I don't know about the other four stars that are going to be in Child's banner. But if there's like a Ningguang or a Yinfei, I'll probably summon on the banner anyway. Because I'm still trying to C6 those. We will also have some new weapons. This five star polar star bow looks absolutely fantastic. If I had to guess, it has a pretty average base attack with a crit rate secondary. I mean, this will probably come in child's banner because it is a bow and he is a bow character. Probably some kind of passive revolving around, you know, elemental skill and maybe even burst damage. And you know, since child is doing all these things, you know, all of his like skills and normal attacks and he's like, you can definitely use him as a main DPS, so like, there might be some sort of stack system that we've been seeing with so many of these other weapons where you'll get stacks for doing basically anything, normal attacks, charge attacks, skills, bursts, whatever. And they may increase some stat, probably attack since he is, you know, a DPS and all. There are, of course, some other four star weapons. They seem to be all in a sort of set as they look very visually similar. Got some new hangout events for Toma and Sayu, very pog. We will also be getting what I assume is the last Inazuma Island, Tsurumi Island. Um, we should be able to find the rest of the Electroculus, I think. Yes. We will also be having a new enemy, supposedly on this island. I would think you probably need some of those drops for like Toma or whatever. That's just usually how they do things. They look pretty annoying because they float, <laughs> but maybe they won't be that bad. They remind me of those little Geo dudes that roll around. I don't, I forgot what they're called, Geo Vaships or whatever. These guys give you corrosion. At least it's when they hit you and not when you kill an enemy like it is currently in Abyss, but still. Corrosion, as most of you know already, is, you know, it, it takes down your HP and shields don't help you here. So it's a pretty annoying mechanic, but yeah, at least it's when they hit you. Then we're getting into the events. I'm not going to touch on them too much as, you know, they're just going to be in the game and everything will be explained there anyway. Um, Labyrinth Warriors here. It definitely looks pretty interesting. Looks more, more like a long form event. So you enter a labyrinth and you go through rooms. Seeing the little gameplay trailer of it, I'm actually really looking forward to this. Then we have Shadow of the Ancients. Basically, you have to uh, deal with a regenerating ruin grater. Then we got Tune to the World Sounds. We kind of had this during like the uh, mini game update. Uh, you play the liar and it looks like they revamped it a little bit as you have some you have to hold and you also have a performance partner there. So interesting little revamp. Also dreams of bloom. 
which is like a Serena teapot event. You have to plant these special flowers and you can get rewards in exchange. Leyline Overflow is coming back. I think most people know how that works. You basically get double the resources from Leylines for a few days. We also have a whole Serena teapot update as well with a new realm layout. New furnishing, floating platform, and a remarkable chest you can open to obtain uh, furnishing blueprints. Genshin is also collaborating with the uh, sort of tech company Razer. Razer is kind of a gaming slash technology company, so they're going to have mouse pads, mice, chairs. You'll also get bonus in-game rewards. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the version 2.2 update. All in all, obviously really looking forward to the uh, final island. Can collect the rest of the Electroculus. I still need to... Uh, I still need to explore Sairai Island. Oh no, not Sairai. Wata... Watatsumi? Yeah, Watatsumi Island. I still need to uh, go and collect everything there. Uh, so I'll probably get on that this week. But yeah, obviously Toma, looking forward to him as well. Hopefully he can apply Pyro decently well because there's been several times already where I was hoping a character could do that. I mean, we do have uh, Shanling. She's probably the closest right now, you know, for Hydro reactions. Like I wanted someone like that for Kokomi while I was trying her out. Uh, and of course we did use Shanling, which did work out pretty well, but uh, I'm hoping we'll have another option here with Toma, but we'll have to wait and see, or I will. I never assume I know more than anyone else, so there's that. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below about version 2.2. Dropping a like on the video, subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.